Why is the production of J10B, which has stronger performance, far less than its predecessor J10A, when this improved fighter equipped with passive phased array radar and DSI intakes was introduced in 2013, it should have become the star equipment of China's Air Force, but it was quietly discontinued after only producing more than 50 aircraft, and what kind of development code is hidden behind it? This is to start from the special historical stage of China's aviation industry's leapfrog development. In 2004, when the J-10 fighter jet was officially installed, the radar and conventional air intake design of its early model 1473 was only equivalent to the level of the US F-16 Block 30. After two years of technological research, the J-10 was finalized in 2006, and although the production was increased to more than 300 aircraft, it was still inadequate in the face of the rapidly iterating avionics system and new missiles from the West. At this time, the Chengfei team was already brewing a bolder upgrade program, injecting two revolutionary technologies into the new airframe, namely the DSI clam intake and phased array radar. The J-10B, launched in 2013, has lived up to expectations, with its passive, Phased array radar increasing its detection range by 40% and the DSI intake reducing weight by 200 kg while enhancing transonic maneuverability so that its comprehensive combat power is already comparable to that of the European Typhoon in its early stages. However, just when the outside world is looking forward to this magic version of J-10 to make a big impact, the production line came to an abrupt end in 2017. It turns out that at this time China's avionics technology ushered in an explosive breakthrough, active phased array radar, Thunderbolt 15 over the horizon missiles, turbofan 10B engine and other, cutting edge equipment collective maturity, giving birth to the complete body of the J10C. This ultimate improvement not only radar detection range increased by 30%, but also compatible with the latest air-to-air -air missiles and electronic warfare pods, comprehensive performance is directly comparable to the F-16V. The short service history of J-10B is like a microcosm of China's military industry, in the race of catching up and surpassing, sometimes the transitional model is just born and faces obsolescence. But it is the existence of these technical springboards that paved the way for the stunning debut of the J-10C. A similar story is also staged in the Navy. 2054 type frigates to verify the new power, immediately derived from 4054. A Air Force J 160 electronic warfare aircraft is also derived from the early J 16 verification platform. This development philosophy of running fast in small steps has enabled China's military industry to complete the amazing leap from being on the back of the J 20 to being on a par with the J 16 in a short span of 10 years. Now, when J 20 and J 35 soaring in the sky, Six generations of machines to verify the successive debut of the machine, look back at the J10B that more than 50, rushed through, we read is not only the inevitable iteration of equipment, but also the rise of a national industry of the wisdom of choice. If the timeline is pulled back to the early 2000s, we can better appreciate the historical inevitability of the birth of J10B. At that time, the main force of the Chinese Air Force was still thousands of J6, J-7 and other second-generation aircraft, even if the most advanced J-10 had faced the deployment of the surrounding F-15J, F-16C, D and other three-and-a-half-generation fighters, can hardly be said to have an advantage. 2006, during the tense situation in the Taiwan Straits, the U.S. Army's Kitty Hawk aircraft carrier F, a 18E, F Super Hornet stationed in Okinawa, with its APG-79 active phased array radar and AIM-120C missile combinations and the F, a 18E, F Super Hornets. The combination of its APG-79 active phased array radar and AIM-120C missiles has made the PLA realize the strategic risks that may be brought about by the generation gap in equipment. It is this strong sense of crisis that gave birth to the J-10B's curved road to overtake program and the breakthrough of the DSI intake technology is a classic case. After the US validated the design on the F-35, the Chinese research team completed the whole process, from theoretical calculations to wind tunnel tests in only 18 months, and creatively adopted the composite design of 
fixed bulge plus adjustable ramps to improve the total pressure recovery coefficient of the J10B within the speed range of Mach 0.8 to Mach 1.2, and the total pressure recovery coefficient of the J10B was increased to 1.2%. The total pressure recovery coefficient of J10B in the speed range of 0.8 to 1.2 Mach is improved by 12%. This ability to quickly engineer cutting-edge technology was proved at the 2011 Zhuhai Air Show. The surface of the J10B model inlet bulge at that time was covered with pressure sensor holes, which showed the research team's extreme pursuit of aerodynamic characteristics. The upgrading of avionics system is also full of drama. In 2009, in a confrontation exercise, J10 a fleet was commanded by the AWACS Su-30 MKK, shot down most of the radar multi-target processing capabilities of the exposure of the shortcomings. The Chengfei Institute of Electronics then launched the Lightning program, and the KLJ-7 radar originally developed for the Dragon Fighter was magically changed. The number of T-R modules was increased by 20%, and adaptive beam forming algorithms were introduced to enable the J-10B to track eight targets at the same time, from 120 kilometers away. When this system was tested on the Tibetan Plateau, it even accidentally captured a C-17 transport plane of the Indian Air Force 300 kilometers away, which amazed the officers and soldiers at the scene. But the flood of history is always full of dramatic twists and turns. In 2014, when the J-10B was in mass production, Sec-14 suddenly announced the successful development of the second-generation active phased array radar whose gallium nitride components increased the power density by three times, and the heat dissipation efficiency was improved by 50%. This breakthrough directly led to the subversion of the core advantages of the J10B. The J10C prototype equipped with the new radar improved the detection distance of stealth targets by 60% compared to the J10B in its test flight in 2015. More fatal is that the domestic turbofan 10B engine made a breakthrough in the same period, the thrust-to-weight ratio of 8.1, so that the J10C can perform long-range interception missions without external sub-tanks. This kind of disruptive innovation brings sweet trouble. In 2016 during the South China Sea standoff manifested itself in the fullest. At that time, a brigade of the South Sea Fleet Air Force J10B fleet successfully drove away foreign reconnaissance aircraft, but the pilot returned to the flight bluntly. If you can change to a new radar half a year earlier, the locking distance can be pushed forward another 20 kilometers. This comment was passed on to the equipment department, which eventually led to the early finalization of the J10C. By the time the J10C was formally installed in 2017, its comprehensive combat power had already formed a comprehensive suppression of the neighboring F-16V in Mirage 2005, and it was even able to maneuver around the f 35 with the support of AWACS. Looking back at the production of more than 50 J10Bs, it is an exquisite footnote to the gradient development strategy of China's military industry. These fighters have undertaken key technology verification missions during their service. In the 2015 Ju Rai military exercise, the J10B modified with a data chain system realized the firepower synergy with the Red Flag 9B surface to air missile for the first time in the 2018 cruise around the island. The J10B carrying electronic warfare pods successfully broke through the strong electromagnetic interference. More than 12 J10Bs have been modified as combat trainers, and hundreds of seed pilots have been cultivated for the J10C force. There are even 12 J10Bs converted into combat trainers, training hundreds of seed pilots for the J10C unit. This wisdom of making the best use of things, maximizes the value of the transition model. It is interesting to note that a new chapter in the J10B story will be ushered in in the 2020s. Four of the deeply modified J10B TV demonstrators are testing vector nozzles and smart skin technology, and the 5,000 hours of flight data they have accumulated will provide key support for the development of the flight control system for the sixth generation aircraft. The export J10CE has inherited a lot of J10B's technical legacy and has achieved 83% victory rate in the simulated confrontation between Pakistan and Indian Rafale, proving the correctness of the technical route with the actual combat performance.